Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In this week's What's For Dinner video, I'm going to be sharing with you three delicious meals that I made for my family. They were easy, they were affordable, and they were delicious. Tonight we are going to be making some barbecue baked beans. So I'm going to be using some baked beans in a can. I'm going to be using some diced onions from my freezer. I'm going to be using half of this pound of ground beef. I'll use the other half in another recipe this week, and I'm going to be using half of this green pepper. So I'm going to start by getting my ground beef on the stove and chopping my green pepper. So now that I have my ground beef, pepper, and onion mixture in my casserole dish, I am going to pour the baked beans that I have here, both cans, undrained into my casserole dish. I'm going to give that a stir, and then I'm going to add just a little more flavor to my baked beans. I'm going to take some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. I'm going to squeeze some of that into my casserole dish. I don't measure. I just look at it and think about what looks good. And then I'm going to take some yellow mustard and do the same. I'm going to give that a stir, make sure that everything is well combined. And then I'm going to put this into my oven for about 25 minutes. And this is my baked beans out of a 350 degree oven after about 25 minutes. It smells delicious. I just served this up with some hot dogs and some homemade macaroni salad. And hey, I use up my leftover macaroni noodles for this macaroni salad. This was delicious. You've got to try these baked beans. Perfect for a summer cookout. For tonight's meal, I'm going to be taking some leftover ingredients I have. I have half a green pepper, an onion, a half a pound of ground beef, some pizza crust mix, and I'm going to be turning it into a deep dish pizza. I got this idea from over at Sammy's channel, Managing the Maze. If you've not checked her out, you definitely need to do so. I will leave her channel linked down below in the description box. I don't think that mine turned out as good as hers. Sammy, you rock. But I think it had to do with the pan that I used. But anyways, so I took these two packs of pizza crust mix and I mix those up according to the package directions. You just add some warm water and you add a little bit of oil and then you give it a mix and you cover it and you let it rise and this is the first time i've done anything like this i have said before on my channel i am not a baker i can do so much in the kitchen but for some reason when it comes to breads and baking and those things i really struggle so i started out by mixing this up at the package directions but i had this like teeny tiny whisk and it was not working and so i decided that i needed to change and find a different utensil to use so i switched i switched to a fork and i kept just mixing this until it kind of formed a dough ball and i was honestly getting frustrated at a point because i just i'm not comfortable with baking but i need to push myself so I kept working with it and so I got this formed into a ball and then I covered it with some oil covered with a towel and let it sit 
next, I browned up the other half of my ground beef and the other half of my green pepper. And then the onion that I pulled out of the fridge, it was not good. So I just added in some of that frozen onion that I had. And then I turned out the pizza crust onto a greased sheet pan. Now, when Sammy made her pizza, she did it in a casserole dish. I think maybe that would have been better for me, but my sheet pans are pretty deep, so I thought that it would be okay, but I'm just now going to take this pizza crust. I'm going to spread it out in my pan and get it as large of a pizza crust as I can make it. Next, I am placing my pizza crust in the oven for about five minutes, um, and then I'm going to pour the pizza sauce over it after I take it out of the oven. Again, I just cooked that to package directions for like five minutes. Just par cooked it, and then I'm going to spread my pizza sauce over my crust. I really do think this was a little bit too much sauce. Um, once it was cooked, the middle especially was very like soggy. You kind of had to eat it with a fork, but I mean, it was good, but I think I may have put too much sauce, but I'm just going to spread the sauce around and then I'm going to add my toppings. So the first thing I'm going to do is add my ground beef, pepper, and onion mixture to the top of my pizza. Then I'm going to be adding in some of the shredded cheddar cheese. I shredded just a little bit of a block of cheddar cheese. I'm going to add that on top of the ground beef mixture. And then I'm going to be topping with pepperoni. After I add the pepperoni, I have just a little bit of this mozzarella cheese left in my fridge. So I'm going to cover the pizza with some of this mozzarella cheese. I also have just a little bit of Parmesan cheese left from another recipe. I'm going to top the pizza with that Parmesan cheese. And then I'm going to be putting this in an oven at 425 degrees for about 20 minutes. And here is this delicious pizza out of the oven. I'm going to let it sit and cool for just a few minutes. And here are our plates. This was delicious. I love the flavor of the crust. You definitely need to try this. So for this meal, we're going to take this steak that I got on clearance last week. This is a top sirloin steak. And I'm not even quite sure sure how many ounces it is let's see let's see it says oh yeah it does it's 1.4 pounds so i think that'll be plenty for us to make four steak tacos so i'm going to sear this in the pan and i'm going to do it like a steak so i'm going to do this on top of my stove in my cast iron skillet and then finish it in the oven Okay, I'm gonna be seasoning this steak very simply today because I'm gonna be basting it with some butter in the cast iron skillet. So I'm just gonna be using some kosher salt, some coarse black pepper, I'd love to know, let me know in the comments below, how do you season your steak? Got just a little bit. I'm gonna have to get some more garlic powder, but I put some garlic powder on. Now we're gonna take it over to our skillet. So I have my cast iron skillet preheating here on the stove, medium heat. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil while that is heating up. And then we're gonna be putting our steak into the cast iron skillet. I place the steak season side down into my cast iron skillet. This is a big one, guys. It just about didn't fit into my cast iron skillet. So now I'm going to go ahead and just be doing the same seasoning on the other side of the steak. I seared the steak for a couple minutes on each side and then I put a couple tablespoons of butter on top of the steak and put the cast iron skillet in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes to finish the steak. I then removed the steak to a cutting board and I'm going to let this rest for about 15 minutes. And here is my steak. Once I have let it rested for 15 minutes, I slice it into thin strips and now we're going to build our steak tacos. 
So here's my steak taco. I have cheese and steak and lettuce and tomato and sour cream on a soft shell. This smells delicious. It looks delicious. I love everything about this and happy Cinco de Mayo, y'all. So that's going to do it for this week. I hope I inspired you to cook something delicious for your family this week. I'll see you next time. Bye.